Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, price appears to be in the same wave structure as Bitcoin and we are still in this wave 2 correction. Price currently suggests this structure so that we have a W, X, Y structure with a Y wave that is currently still being unfolding and the wave Y would complete the wave two. After that, we could see a rally in a third wave, which would take us above the April high, which was marked at around 2,140 US dollars. So in the Y wave, the Y wave is a corrective structure, which consists of three sub waves. In this case, I'm counting it as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. In the C wave, we're looking for five waves, a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. And there should be a fourth wave and a fifth wave still coming. Ideally, if I had to pick an area, I'd be looking at the area around 1660 to complete this overall correction. Yeah, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower, but this price level, the golden ratio should act a little bit as a magnet to current price. Okay, so. The only thing is, um, what I'm not entirely sure about, okay, is this an A, B, C, or do we also have a W, X, Y structure? And then in the Y wave, we have an A, B, C. So we, we may not get this fourth wave and the fifth wave. I'm just saying that because sometimes you don't get that last low. And as explained yesterday, sometimes on days when we have this high selling volume and we had quite a bit of a volume increase yesterday, Sometimes these corrections finish earlier. What we need to understand is that Ethereum, unlike Bitcoin, has not re-entered the area below the 12th of May low. So the 12th of May low on the Ethereum chart is at 1745 roughly, uh, this swing low. Price hasn't broken it. And you can see that on the ETH BTC chart, I will make an ETH BTC video later just shows that at the moment Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum is stronger than Bitcoin. I think this will change at some point, but this is what it's doing at the moment. So it's holding higher. It hasn't made an, a lower low. So it's not as clearly confirmed this structure as on the Bitcoin chart. This could still become a messy B wave, to be honest, an alternate B. Bitcoin, not really, because, well, at least it would be strange The Bitcoin already made a clear lower low. And I would expect that here on the Ethereum chart as well. And we also take a look now at the price, which Ethereum should not break to the upside in order to keep downside expectations alive. In Elliott Wave, while Elliott Wave to a degree is based on interpretations, such interpretations become less important in an impulse. We finally have an impulse to the downside because it just leaves less room for interpretation, makes life for us as analysts and traders easier whereas as i explained in a structure like this where you have a, just a lot of up and down an area of instability where the market hasn't made up its mind yet it just leaves more room for different structures and different scenarios yeah this is often very frustrating because probabilities for different scenarios are close together whereas if you deal with an impulse you have clear targets and you basically have an idea where if price breaks above or beyond a certain level the scenario is going to fail most likely. So again, while there are levels or is, is a degree of interpretation, things are getting clearer now due to the impulse. And what Elliott Wave does, it gives us very objective levels to watch out for where we need to change our view. Okay, And one such level may be 1825. It's not a very relevant level, but if we zoom in now and say, okay, we're coming down in this impulse, um, it looks like we're doing what I already highlighted yesterday in the live stream in the last video that Ethereum was wrapping up this third wave of a third wave and we're now in the fourth wave of the third wave and it should avoid a sustained break above 1825. Okay, if we get a wick above it, no problem. But if we get a sustained break above 1825, it will make the current scenario a little bit less likely. To be precise, it is 1825.30. Now, it indicates that this is a level, the 50% retracement of that third wave there, which was put in place yesterday. And any wave four that breaks above or beyond the 50% retracement level and, and sustains there, which means it will it may, maybe, you know, 
it might break it and if it just comes down straight away no problem but if it moves up and consolidates above 1825 that would be a sustained break for example so if price gets above that level and stays there then it normally indicates okay th this impulse to the downside needs to be revised it's probably not an impulse it might then be a diagonal pattern to the downside which is unfolding we always need to be ready for that in a C wave you do get diagonals um, but until it until it goes really above 1825.30 the downside expectations in this particular impulse in this particular scenario remain valid now if we break above 1825.30 it I cannot rule out a rally all the way up to the wave too high around 1870 1880 but again it would then need probably a restructuring of the chart what would be an alternative interpretation well again it would just be something like a leading like an ending diagonal i would still probably say this was a wave one this was a wave two but the idea would be that the wave three is probably split in an abc structure then a wave four and a wave five so ideally to keep the impulse to the downside alive and a fairly straightforward structure we need to stay below 1825 again a move above that will make our current wave four very unlikely and i would rather see the third wave as unfolding as an a b c structure for example will make it much more difficult to forecast than at least the lower degree waves yeah and i think um, this is sort of at the moment the situation maybe one final look at the indicators because we have have a you know we, we are observing the rsi at the moment on the daily chart very closely so the daily MACD put a buy, uh, sorry, a sell signal in place yesterday. So negative momentum is increasing. That's in line with my analysis. So I wouldn't be surprised to see in the coming days and maybe even a couple of weeks further downside. That's currently expected to reach that sort of 1660 level. Please understand that in the current scenario, 1534 is also a possibility. The RSI is still fairly high though on Ethereum. So we are still fairly strongly above the 10th of March low and I'd like to get the RSI at least back to that level maybe okay maybe a little higher but sort of into that region and at the time we were at 32 and at the moment it's 43 so there's a bit more work to do and also a bit more space for potentially another sell-off okay that's my update about Ethereum I hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership and also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.